The experience of using Blue SG electric car. Assalamualaikum, jumpa lagi di Frugal Inn. Today, uh, actually this month of June 2021 is gonna be my last time using the blue SG car here behind me. Uh, so, also to maybe uh, end a little bit of like a educational tool today that I want to make and also to at least tell myself maybe years down the road that I ever used blue SG car before so this is uh, the first full electric car sharing in Singapore uh, I've been using it since September last year so that's about like what nine months yeah, I'm, and I finally decided to not use it anymore so I will be returning the membership uh, before that yeah I will tell you everything about it that what I know and what I like and what I don't like about this car all right let's let's go okay so we just arrived here at one of the housing estates here so just opposite us is a blue SG parking station so let's go through all the uh, procedures of how I will show you how I book and use this car okay all right okay I was about to start recording just now at uh, the other block but now suddenly I have an uh, <laughs> Grab Express order, so I did the order first and now I'm going to do this video for you, okay? So, as usual, now I'm uh, in a multi-story car park Bryce Park over there and we have another Blue SG station here so, left one car and I will show you how we are going to book this car behind me, okay? Alright Okay, maybe I might uh, miss out something but it's okay so the usual way that I always do when I'm gonna book a blue SG car is usually I from home I will check the car park nearest to my house and then I will do a booking there but this time around it's gonna be different so this is the station here we will take out our easily hold on okay uh, this is actually my debit card so uh, it's also an easy link then this easy link is uh, what do you call uh, I registered this easy link number to my blue SG account so to open the door I use just use this easy link okay now here we tap it here can you see the screen here okay look away look away let me do the pin number first I enjoy the view there okay all right look at this huh so I have a valid driving license, yes, uh, under, not under influence of alcohol, yes, I'm not under influence of any drugs, yes, confirm. Okay, see, that's all. So take the vehicle link to the cable on the right, so we have here, open up. Okay, this is a who is first time. Uh, tips for you guys press this button and then you can pull out oh again yeah, one more time sorry I think I need to okay, sorry always forget not not usually I take 
So we tap this time first To open the car See Alright So one more time Press the button Alright Now you can pull out easy If not it won't come out So we put it here Alright What do you say? Have a good And safe trip Alright So uh, we will check the car as usual. Go one round, see for any damage. So far, I use this uh, car for nine months. I never report any damage ever. I think all the drivers are good drivers that I get. So it's about it not that clean so later part they will have a question inside the car okay usually there is a name there's my name here there's no name probably it's not uh, because it's a last minute booking okay use the ignition can you all see oh my god it's so dark in here So it still uses the key. Put it right to the most right so that it will on. Okay, light is on. Okay, this one. This is the one that on the first day I don't know how the air car works. So you need to press and hold this until you come out the AC. See? Only then your AC will be on, if not, it will just be air. So now it's going to be cold air. And I usually turn this one on for circulation. Alright. It's off this light. Okay. Let's see. Wait, I on the light. I'll show you for a second. So this is only a uh, two gear uh, and plus neutral, just uh, forward and reverse and neutral. That's all. Okay. Nothing much in this car. So I guess. So it's a uh, one for me two seater here. And we have a back seat which just now if I took the car in the other car park, I think it's better. Then it wouldn't be too dark. Okay, we'll take it for a spin. But actually I got one order that is coming. Uh let's check the order and we'll see from there. Okay. Just drive a while and pick up the order and I will come back here to collect my bike and then we send because the order is going to Bukit Panjang area I won't want to drive this there and come back here to get my bike so I will just go collect because the collection is quite nearby here yeah so it's an auto electric car about it so once I get my order uh, I will do the part where I return the car for you all to see okay all right I don't have a holder or chest harness to show you this drive so I wouldn't be endangering myself holding with one hand okay ciao okay see for four percent the one at the traffic light take this video of me inside the car so I managed to put the phone at the corner there eh? uh, for me to record while talking to you guys okay it belt on
Where do we go out? Right, I think. about the car it is a small electric car it's very nimble easy to drive uh, what's good about it I don't know man what's good about it it can fit my family because it's four of us so if you have more than four it will not be a good car then Hopefully there's no charges here. Alright, grace period, let's go. So I'm driving back to where I parked my bike just now in the multi-story. Gonna return the car. Just a short drive to show you guys how this car works and how we do the booking, how we get it out of the car park and drive it out. And then we'll see the charges it's by by the minute what I don't like okay you will be asking me why am I returning this car back uh, means I don't want to use blue SG anymore is the number one reason I think should be is there is no SG station near my house so that's the number one thing that makes me don't want to use this anymore how usually I do it because I use this car is to drive my family to my parents house in Google to uh, book a grab from my place in Jurong to Bungol is an average of $26 whereas if I take this it's uh, half of it is around between depending on uh, let's just say it's around $15 it's the price of a uh, grab hitch so what, what I usually do is either I take my bike there to the car park, park it and drive this thing out but the other way I usually do is uh, I will bring a scooter this skate scooter I take a bus from my house to the car park that I always take near the Jurong East Stadium then going down the bus stop then I will scoot to the car park then I will drive back home and fetch my family and then after that uh, when I reach there I send them to my parents block and then I will drive to the nearest station near to my mother's house so from the car park itself I will scoot back to my mother's house so you see the hassle there so sometimes when I think about it that hassle plastic bus and then at night uh, when I'm going want to go home then I have to do the same thing again scoot back to the car park get the car drive back to the my mother's house 
first the, the kids and wife and then I do the same thing again when I reach Jurong so might as well sometime I think for the additional of ten dollars ah uh, just pay grab I can rest in the car no need to drive so I think that's the second most important uh, reason why I want to stop using Blue SG okay see nearby right my recording only five minutes so I reached already at the car park I will return this and we will see how okay come let me show you look at the station they are all green so means all these green ones you can park it all right so let's park this car reverse all the way to the stones okay neutral and break as usual yeah that's about it see this is my goods so I will transfer it to Bri over there ok let's see how we return back this car right and of course at the key here yeah? just turn it off see he says lock me done ok this the part that I want to give you the tips is that whatever you do now don't waste time because the minutes is running go get your card and tap it first because once you tap and then he asks you to plug this thing so take it take it from the station and quickly back in the hole because once you do this you will actually stop the timer you see the rental has ended and then after that you can slowly settle to lock the car that you can go get your stuff and all that all right yeah that's about it so the tip there is to quickly tap it so that the rental time is ended so let's take the things out okay we transfer this stuff and Put it there. Hold on a while and let's close this bugger. Don't forget to lock the car. Alright, so that's done. End of Blue SG. Will not be using it anymore. Thank you for this nine months using your Blue SG. Thank you so much. So I think definitely there's so much questions that you guys want to ask me you guys can ask me in the comments below so that I, I can answer you because doing this video I don't know whether I covered everything or not but hopefully you guys get it of how to use the blue SG car and some tips are given uh, the aircon one is crucial the the green button that you need to depress when removing the cable that's the second one and when returning your your rental timing that plays an important role because sometimes I see people they want to clean the car first and all that then after that they plug in so that's where you waste that 
few minutes they will still charge you because you haven't tapped to the station okay that's about it so anything you want to ask me just go ahead ask in the comment section below and we'll see you on the next episode next week assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh